Today I want to talk with you about a very important transit that is going on this year. Beginning this month, January 2019, and going through to October 2019, Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius is squaring Neptune in the sign of Pisces. This is a very powerful transit, and yet I believe it's going to be operating in some more subtle ways than the very powerful conjunction of Saturn and Pluto that we're also in at this time. And I'll talk a little bit more about that one in the next video. But Jupiter squaring Neptune is really speaking to us about how we are conscious of the beliefs that we hold and how the beliefs that we have are meant to be in a process of change in this time. Remember that we're in this profound time of transition and transformation as we're moving from the end of the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius and we're also at the end of a 26,000 year processional cycle and moving into a new one. So as we're in between the ages and starting this new processional cycle, it is a profound time of shifting and transformation for us on many levels, including the level of our consciousness and our beliefs. It's a time to move into new paradigms, new ways of seeing ourselves, understanding ourselves, understanding our place in the world and in the cosmos, and in understanding our relationships with each other and all of life. Jupiter is the planet that relates to our beliefs, how we understand our lives and what's going on around us. It is our belief system, our spirituality, our deeper understanding of the meaning of life. Jupiter is in its own sign of Sagittarius, guiding us to be on a spiritual journey and to explore our beliefs and our deeper understanding of things. It is about those deeper existential questions. Why are we here? Who am I? What is life about? What is the meaning of all that is? So this is a time for us to be in that exploration and in that process. As Jupiter is squaring Neptune, the beginning part of this transit, as we're just moving into that square, is Neptune is that planet of dissolution. It dissolves whatever it touches in order to open up new possibilities. And Neptune, as we move further into this transit, is going to initially guide us to release and let go of false beliefs that we have, to let those beliefs dissolve, and then to open in an intuitive way, Neptune, to our oneness with all that is, and to allow new beliefs and new ways of understanding ourselves and our world to emerge from that consciousness. So it's an opportunity for us as humans to dissolve our old ways of understanding and looking at things and in essence move into a higher consciousness, a cosmic consciousness. So what are those beliefs that we need to shed and allow to dissolve as we work with the energy of this square? I would encourage you to look and take time to reflect on your own life. What false beliefs do you carry about yourself that are holding you back, that are blocking you from being in the full potential of who you are? Let those beliefs dissolve. I would encourage you to look at what beliefs do you hold about the world or about other people that need to dissolve. This is a time to open to a much more expansive way of understanding yourself, 
your place in the cosmos, your beliefs about all that is. So as you're allowing those false beliefs and illusions to dissolve, take time to meditate, to just open in that more intuitive way to the gifts of Neptune bringing us that consciousness from a larger perspective, from the spiritual perspective. And remember also that Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. So if we open to that energy of Neptune, it is also helping us to reform new beliefs from a place of right relationship and a place of love. Remember, Neptune is about that love that moves throughout the universe. It is about divine love. And if we open our hearts, Neptune can guide us to connect to that expansive love and allow our beliefs to arise from a place of heart, of right relationship, of love. In contemplating what beliefs we humans collectively need to allow to dissolve, I believe it has to do with the paradigms that we've been in that are really restricting us and blocking us from remembering the fullness of who we are and moving into our true potential. We carry beliefs such as life on this earth is about the survival of the fittest. This is a classic belief system that we all in, in our current collective adhere to. And it's led to a lot of other axioms or beliefs that flow out from that. If this living on this planet is about survival of the fittest, then war is inevitable because we need to battle each other for dominance. The sense of hierarchy, power over, is a part of life because we're all striving to compete to get what resources are available. It also includes a notion that the resources, there's a scarcity, that there isn't enough for everyone. So again, we have to compete for those resources that are available in order to survive. And there's a sense that those who can survive best are those who are most powerful, most able to dominate others, conquer their enemies. It leads to our economic system that's based on greed and on competition and a lack of collaboration and cooperation. The irony of it is, biologists are now discovering that species go through an evolutionary process. And in the beginning of their evolutionary phase, survival of the fittest is one phase they pass through. But as they continue in their growth and evolution, the higher level of a species is coming into collaboration, cooperation, that awareness that we are not separate, but we are all interconnected and a part of this larger ecosystem and a part of the cosmos, and a part of all that is. That is the message of Neptune. We are not separate. Neptune helps us dissolve our egos and our boundaries of this false belief that we're individuals separate from each other, and helps us to remember the interconnectedness of all of life, and our interconnectedness with each other and our awareness that we are just a part of the oneness of all that is. When we really let those old beliefs dissolve, 
then and and really take in that gift of the wisdom and the love coming to us through Neptune, then we begin to realize that we need to move into not only new beliefs, but new ways of being that are about empowering ourselves to bring our gifts out into the collective with the realization that we're all interdependent, we're all interconnected, and that as we share our gifts and our resources, we all benefit. And as we honor our diversity, we become a stronger community and we move past that need for war and violence and greed and competition and power over and hierarchy. And we move in to the energies of Aquarius, community, collaboration, equality, acceptance of diversity and difference, honoring right relationship, justice, fairness. The gift of this transit is it's helping us dissolve the beliefs that block us from moving in to that new paradigm that allows us all to thrive. It really is a gift helping us to move into the age of Aquarius. In this time, it's really important for us to also look at another false belief that we need to allow to dissolve. And that is a false sense of history. It's a false sense that our modern evolved culture really began about 5,000 years ago and we're at the pinnacle of our human evolution. That's actually an illusion. As the Hindu Yuga cycle informs us, we move through these spirals, cycles of human evolution over eons. And we're actually coming out of a dark period for us as humans on this planet, a time of forgetting, a time of ignorance, a time of going into the shadow side of who we are and how we relate with each other. When we realize that actually humans have been on this planet for tens of thousands of years and you explore ancient sacred sites that are so evolved, we have no understanding how they develop those sites. And these ancient cultures have an understanding of mathematics and astronomy and technologies that we've forgotten. When we can remember that and let go of that false belief that we are now at the pinnacle of human evolution, we can come back into humbleness and come back into honoring these cycles that we are not on a path of linear development. We evolve in these spirals of growth and evolution and change and that we're actually coming back to that remembrance of the wisdom of the past in order to move into the wisdom and new paradigms of the future that can allow us to open up to new technologies and new ways of being and to realize that this path that we've been on that is about violence, war, power over, competition, destruction of the earth can really dissolve and we can open into a collaboration with each other and a higher consciousness that can allow us to truly co-create a new world. A new world that is about being in that connection with all that is. A new world 
that is about coming back into right relationship with the earth and the realization that if we destroy our planet, we destroy ourselves. And we also can come back into that awareness that we are not alone in the cosmos. We are merely one planet that is a part of this larger conscious universe. Then we can truly move from our ego consciousness and our power over consciousness into a higher consciousness based on love and wisdom and our oneness with all that is. May we open to these new ways of consciousness and allow the false beliefs that are not only blocking us but are threatening to destroy us. May we allow them to dissolve and may we open to that interconnectedness with the sacredness in all of life. Blessed be. Oh.